When you ride the Blue Line, you see some folks who have a very, very long daily commute. So, uh, where are you guys headed? Going to Miami tonight. Go to Miami? That's right, yeah. You probably have the biggest commute of anyone in Chicago. We'll be home in about nine hours. Do you ever worry that you're going to miss your flight? I've never actually been late on the train before. The train has not made you late? Never once. I've yeah. actually never been late. Either. Really? Yeah. Should we have flight attendants on the L? That's what train I Train attendants? Train attendants. I don't know. I don't know. Amtrak not... does. Yeah. Yeah, you know, serving, well, no, they don't serve anything on airplanes <laughs> <No>. anymore. <laughs> Should you have, like, a, you know, an oxygen mask that falls down and... Uh... Don't need it. Not at this elevation, yeah. <laughs> you're on the ground. True enough. The Blue Line ends at O'Hare Airport in a terminal designed by famous German-born Chicago architect Helmut Jahn. It opened in 1984 when an extension of the Blue Line from Jefferson Park was completed. Jahn was a pioneer in making modern architecture more dramatic with his use of colors and curving shapes. You can also see this in his United Terminal from 1987, which features a subterranean passageway to a satellite terminal with a dramatic neon sculpture on the ceiling by artist Michael Hayden. Chicago's O'Hare Airport. Quite a departure from the spare modernism of the airport's original design by C.F. Murphy Associates when it was dedicated by President John F. Kennedy in 1963. The airport was named for World War II fighter pilot Edward Butch O'Hare in 1949. He fought a solo battle downing five enemy bombers in 1942 in what his Medal of Honor citation described as the most daring single action in combat aviation history. Less than two years later, he died in one of the first nighttime aircraft carrier missions. Butch O'Hare's father took a different path in life. He was in business with Al Capone. He informed on the notorious gangster and was gunned down in a mob hit in 1939. With the dawn of the jet age, the construction of the Kennedy Expressway, and the long-planned extension of the L here, O'Hare was destined to become the hub of air travel for Chicago and the entire nation. I'd love to be jetting off to some exotic destination right now, but I've got a train to catch.